Good evening, everybody, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Fred and Friends. I'm your host, Fred Schultz, and, uh, you know, I got people sitting in the green room that are going to just blow you away. I mean, I'm sitting here, I'm stunned with the people I've got on here tonight. Just an outstanding group. Um, I mean, I don't even know how to begin with it. You know, I I usually give my shout-outs and everything like that, but I think I'm going to wait and give my shout-outs towards the end tonight because um, I've got a... One guy that, that I want to bring on that's that's uh, pretty cool and uh, my special guest tonight you're gonna love. He's a uh, he's a guy everybody loves. Yeah, you know, and uh, he's he's one of my guys I usually give the shout out to, but it's not gonna happen tonight. I will give a shout out towards the end though. But uh, right now I am going to go uh, just right to everything. First of all, real quick, I got some jerseys this week. I got one from Immortal Air. I love it. I got one from the Hermans, which is the, the Iron Men, and they're all the kids. As you've seen in my intro, it was the last, uh, last shot of me. I was with them this weekend. A great, great group. And then the Booney Boys, boom, they sent me a jersey this week. Uh, Jeff Thompson did. And just real quick, I, I need to mention Jeff Thompson. Um, his father passed away yesterday, okay? Now, Jeff uh, has been with the Booney Boys for a long time, and all the Booney Boys are just great, great people. And to me, you know, Jeff, Jeff is like, uh, we're a paintball family and we need to, to stay that way. So, you know, when, when one person's hurts, you know, I, I said my prayers from last night and, um, I just hope that all of you out there will say a prayer for him too, um, for his family. Um, because Jeff is a good guy and, and Jeff absolutely deserves that. So real quick, I am going to bring on, I, I'm just going to slam these guests out here tonight, everybody. Um, I usually give my shout outs and I'm going to talk about some things coming up uh, for, you know, the woods ball thing that we're going to talk about tonight. But Jennifer Montressor has a thing coming up and yada, yada, yada. But let me bring my guests out here tonight. <laughs> Wait till you see this. My hand's shaking. My whole damn body's shaking. You know, my wife come running in, thought it was an earthquake. It's just me. I'm so nervous with the people I've got here tonight. So I am going to start right away with bear man, woods ball man, Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Good evening, Kevin. Freddie, how are you? Doing good. Jumping over to Mr. William Bailey. Hey, Billy. Hey, guys. Hey, guys. Mr. John and Dan Colby. What? Hey, everybody. How you doing, guys? Up? All right. Mr. Happening, everyone? Oh, check this out, guys. Oh, my God. I'm about ready to wet myself. Damn. Oh. Um, <laughs> 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 Mr. Bud Orr. Oh, hey, oh, what? Oh, oh, it gets better than that. Check this out. Mr. Ross Alexander. Oh, come on. I'm hey, telling you, guys. you, look at this. Oh, my God. Ross, how you doing? I'm time. getting old. How are you doing? Holy oh, man, shit. All right, all right. Pretty good. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> well, there you all go. Awesome. What a oh, group this is, huh? Oh, Crazy. my goodness. It, it is, you know, everybody out there, um, you know, Ross was my first uh, uh, gun sponsor, and uh, I, I'm forever grateful to him for that, too. Uh, matter of fact, I still got it down here. Uh, Ross and I talked a few weeks ago, and I, I actually brought it up and showed it to him. I still got that bad boy, and I love it. The Bushmaster was a rocking, rocking piece of machinery. It really was. Oh, yes, it was. Yep. So, so, Kevin, yeah. what do you think of this group? Unbelievable. It's amazing. How the hell you do this? <laughs> I, 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 God's with me. That's all I can say. You know, I mean, oh, Freddie. Incredible. <laughs> he, he looks down and he goes, Freddie, you're nobody, but I'm going to give you people that will help you out. So, and here they are. <laughs> <laughs> well, where's everybody shit. located? Uh, I'm in I'm New Jersey. Jersey. North Carolina? No, we're over here in Chicago. Springfield, Missouri. California. And Bud's in California, too. Uh, you were in Car North Carolina a couple of weeks ago, huh? I was, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Bud went there on vacation, or I guess it was this month's vacation, wasn't it, Bud? Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, I think it was last month. Yeah, I went back <laughs> to uh, Ryan Newman. He's a race car driver. He's a good friend of mine, so I went back and visited him. Very, very cool. So Ross, you know, uh, this is the first time. Thing. Yeah, this is the first time you've been on, buddy. Uh, you know, 
tell us a little bit about you know what you got going on now because I, I you know uh, I know how you got started in paintball so yeah I'm in I'm in a family <laughs> business of tra transportation here in Boulder Colorado I I got <laughs> caught up in transportation I have an airport shuttle service with um, had 50 employees and 25 vans and my daughter and uh, uh, son are in it wow. um, with me but uh, you know COVID kind of slowed that down so. We're getting ready to relaunch it again. We've just we've just been I've been semi-retired, I guess is the best way to put it for the last year. Kind of good. Outstanding. Awesome. It it is. You you look good. You know, I, I, I have a picture of you on my intro. You know, I got a picture of, of actually everybody that's on the screen. I, I don't think I got Kevin in there yet, but I'll get him in there. But you're standing, yeah, you're standing there, and man, you're just a mile a tall taller than everybody else in that whole picture. <laughs> Yeah, I know the one you're talking about. I know you do. I was never any good. We never had fields in the Redwoods. I'd have been really good in a Redwood field. <laughs> what well, you know, we liked you on the team because you were like having a guy in a tower. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you could see him coming over the hill. We couldn't. <laughs> yeah, you still got the tux? Right here. Right here. Tux, yeah. Yeah. You know what? You know, it's funny, too, is I, I thought there was a bunch of those made. And Tim said there was only 17 of them made. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I know you got one. Bud got one. I got one. So, you know, a lot of the muffs are gone now, Ross. Yeah, I've heard. I've, I've Yeah. That's a shame. That was. Uh, we, still, we still should have a little reunion before uh, before before it's too late. Oh, I'd be all for it. I'd be all for it. I, you know, that was a fun group. Um, I mean, fun is a pretty mild word, actually, for that group. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was out of control. That, that might be the word. Yeah, that, that might be what I was talking about. <laughs> so, you know, we're all getting ready. Uh, we've got a, a team together, Ross. Uh, we call it the band. And uh, Bud's on it, and Danny's on it, and Bill's on it. And we're going back to uh, play Woods Ball in New York next month. Yeah, Tim Sloss told me about that. It's it's like the May twentieth or something like that. Uh, 15th about the fourth and sixteenth of May. May fifteenth and sixteenth. Fifteenth, sixteenth. Yeah, I would be one. I'd, I'd like to make that, but I'm afraid I won't be able to. Uh, that business I'm in, that family business, reopens May seventeenth. So. Uh, oh wow. Um, you know, next year. Or well, the, the next, next one, you know. What's going on know, in September? Uh, Monte Later Casino. Yeah, Monte Casino in September is back uh, built. Yep. Go ahead, tell them about it. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a big game here in, in Italy. <coughs> and uh, it's going to be huge. There's a lot of people, uh, you know, have already paid entries. Uh, we've got probably four to 500 pre-registered players already. Uh, we're all chomping at the bit to get this game. We haven't got, we didn't get to play it last year because of COVID. And, uh, you know, we've just, we've still been recruiting a lot of people. It's, a uh, uh, the date that, let's see, I think the date was the, I think it was the 15th, 14th and 15th of September. And uh, where is it, Bill? It's at Paintball to Go in Rude House, Illinois. It's, it's about an hour and 20 minutes, uh, from St. Louis, Missouri. You, people can actually fly into St. Louis, you know, rental car straight, you know, to it. Yeah, that'd be a perfect place, you know, if the Muffs wanted to have a, a get-together because Bud's going to be there, Bud and Dan. Uh, they're the generals of the two teams. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that'd be kind of cool. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah, we, we could, we could uh, all party the night before and then probably go out and <laughs> wonder what the hell's going on the next day. <laughs> <laughs> We're stopping yeah, so, you know, that's, That'd be good. Yeah, that's something to think about then. Yeah, they've got yeah. They've got a huge pavilion with a giant fire pit right in the middle of it, and uh, there's a lot of a lot of partying goes on. You know, it's it's a really good time. Still family, really right? good people. Yeah, good people. Yeah, okay. outstanding. Yep, just like just like the old days. Well, so yeah, that might be the old Volkswagen bus, but I still got one. Still got an old Volksy bus yeah. and, and truck up to Illinois. That's not far, but uh, yeah, you know, you got your thousand van? miles, something like that. <laughs> you got your van. I still got my van, van. Yeah. Oh, cool. <laughs> you like me? You never get rid of nothing. 
<laughs> no, it's a, it's still there. It's a 1978. Redone it. Rebuilt the engine myself a couple of years ago. All right. Got it humming. Yeah. So, so you still drive that around then, huh? What's yeah. that? So you still drive it around? Yeah. Well, it's, it's uh, yeah, it's, it's it's covered right now. It's snowing outside, by the way. That's why I got this on. Is it really? Yeah, what? it's snowing oh, right outside. Christ. Oh, my God. That's great. None for, none for me. <laughs> Keep it. Yeah. yeah. And I was griping Finally because it was only 72 me. today. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> It's right on. Talking to you, Freddie. You What's know, that? I, mean, I said it gets depressing talking to you. You know, we're yeah. freezing, Kevin. I, you know, it's, we got fucking <laughs> snow coming all over us, and yeah, yeah, it's been terrible out here. It's seventy-two degrees and sunny. You know, <laughs> and I and I got a sweatshirt on. You know. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably warmer down where Bud's at. Yeah, it's eighty. It was well today. It was sixty-two. Yesterday it was eighty-one. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's terrible, terrible, man. I feel bad for you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it's, it's, uh, it's really tough to take, man, tough. It, 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 it yeah. is, but we we do put up with it, though, right, bud? We're tough oh, yeah, out here. Yeah, 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 Somebody's got to do it, man. I'm glad you guys took the job, you know what I mean? Somebody's got to do it. <laughs> We're going to hold it down over here on the East Coast, you know what I mean? Uh, Chicago and uh, Jersey area, you know? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Ross, have you ever met John Colby, Dan's son? No, I've, I've, you know, I've been kind of away a long time. How old are you? 34 now. Dan, son, Don? Yeah, he's 34 now. Well, then I might have met you when you were four. Yeah, that, <laughs> that's about right, too. Yeah. 34, hell, that's pretty close to my IQ. <laughs> but, <you're not. laughs> but yeah. So he was a little guy yeah. when I took him around. He was just a little guy. But, he uh, was, yeah. He's kind of taken over right now. You know, he he jumped in with Dan, and uh, the kid does good. He really, really does. Well, I think it's cool working with your kids. I really, I really enjoy it. That's why I'm yeah. kind of not not out of business yet. It's uh, um, really kind of fun. I'm much closer to them than I was when I was their father. Now I'm their boss, and it's much better. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, that paycheck carries a lot of weight. Yeah. <laughs> well, the plan is for them just to give me one every every couple of weeks for doing not much. Well, hey, there you, you go. Yeah. That's a good deal. I gotta yeah. give you a call. Yeah, because you gotta realize you gotta be nice to these kids, you know, because they're the ones that are gonna control which home you're gonna go into eventually. <laughs> <laughs> so it's either a good home or it's a garage. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'll oh, take the garage. I'll take oh, hell, if I was in your garage, I'd, I'd live in your garage, bud. I'm talking about an average garage, buddy. Oh. <laughs> oh I, I, walk, I go down to Bud's, Ross. I walk into to Bud's garage. He's got side-by-sides, Harleys laying everywhere, just tons of, of, of auto cockers and, and different markers and different things. It, I, I got to tell you, it, it blows you away when you walk in there. It absolutely did. And I was down there doing a, uh, did a photo shoot for uh, Greg Hastings. He's putting out a new uh, paintball video, uh, paintball game, video game. And uh, so anyhow, Bud and I, we took pictures there and it was at Bud's house. And we walked in the back and I got to tell you, we just all, I mean, the floor was wet from us drooling because we were just all stood there and it was just absolutely amazing. Every man that is a man would want to be in that garage. So it's small. Believe me. It's, it's, it's small. It's about 9,000. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah it, I know it's it. a small garage, man. How could you, how could you put up with that size? I know it. Tell my, <laughs> the lot that my house sits it's, on it's, isn't that it's big. Tough. <laughs> my, my, my auto shop's only 6,000. <laughs> Oh, Unbelievable. I remember going over, I don't know where we were at, and Bo was getting into the motorcycles at the time, or he was already in them. We we're cruising by, and all of a sudden, you know, whenever you get a big block or a, a nice motor, you can feel that ground rumble. You know, you just get that nice sound, right? Yep. And I'm feeling this ground. I'm looking around. I'm like, who the fuck has got this car? I got to take a look at this car. It's really, really nice. It sounds great, right? 
and sure as shit, who the fuck is pulling this fucking bud on this big black fucking motorcycle? I don't know. It the boss, hot boss, the big boss. I don't know what they call. They even call the bike. You had that bike. You were riding it around. You remember that? Bud. Oh yeah, it's a uh, it's a boss hoss. It's got a three fifty Chevrolet in it. The motor. Yeah. 475 horse. Tell me that it ain't cool, right? I mean, I, I don't know about riding anything, man, but uh, it sure sounded great. <laughs> well, Bud, you, you put one together in, what, 11 hours and rode it to some place because somebody said you couldn't build it in a certain amount oh, of time? Oh, yeah, at, at the paintball tournament in uh, San Diego. I got a bet with a couple of guys that, you know, I, I took the bike there, but it was completely disassembled. I mean, there was no nuts and bolts except for the motor and transmission. I built it in 11 and a half hours by myself and drove it up on the stage. So <laughs> I got my money too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, imagine cool. that. <laughs> so Ross, whose birthday party is it tonight? Uh, daughter Eve's. She's 28. Oh, and, uh, wow. <laughs> you remember Eve, bud? When she was this, oh, yeah. this big? Yeah. yeah she was, She's 28 uh, and, uh, Got the great that my I got a Grace had a baby boy in December, so I'm a grandfather for one for the first time, oh, and uh, he's upstairs or he's I think he's probably sleeping. But uh, <laughs> yeah, we just finished dinner. Crab. Uh, I think she was two when I seen her last. Two well, years old, a little older than two, perhaps, but uh, <laughs> but certainly single. Oh digits. no, no, she yeah, she, is she the oldest one or the youngest? One? No, she's the youngest one. She was single digits probably the last time you were here. Yeah, she was four. She was four. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah she was ninety three. Yeah, yeah, that's probably right. <laughs> yeah, four. Yeah. Well, you yeah. moved in ninety one, right? Yeah. I moved in ninety. Yeah, I moved in ninety. 90. Nineteen ninety. I've been living in this house for uh, since nineteen ninety. Yeah, yeah, it's a beautiful house up there it. too. Except for the snow, I'd love to live there. <laughs> yeah, you know, snow's not a bad deal. No, it snows good. It's especially for somebody yeah. that's retired can just sit and watch it from the inside the house. Yeah, well, we don't you know, have fires. We, we don't have fires for months. You know. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, you got me there. <laughs> You're absolutely right. Well, that was a good one. <laughs> yeah, we had uh, we had some serious fires, man. We lived in smoke here. I, I don't know if you got it down there, bud. But man, we had smoke. No. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Uh, we one day I went out and you could not see the sun the entire day. There was no sun whatsoever. It's just nothing but smoke. So yeah, it was absolutely terrible. So yeah, if I had to, yeah. if I had to have a choice between the smoke and the snow, I'd probably go snow. But it would still be from inside the house, looking out through the window. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I'd be right along to you. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you're my man. <laughs> I, I love it. Well, when I, when I went to see Ross, that's when I was going snow skiing. See him. Um, and, oh yeah, uh, yeah. That was back in the day. That. Uh, no, I can't handle that cold right now. Yeah, well, you know, I was brought up in Wisconsin. I, I lived back in Wisconsin. And, you know, we used to call summer three months of bad sledding because, you know, summer would come and go so quick, you know, you just hardly even knew what happened sometimes. So, yeah. But I did like to snow back in the day, um, you know, especially when I was a kid. The minute it starts snowing, I'd grab my shovel when I was 10 years old and I'd get out there and I'd be shoveling sidewalks and stuff for a quarter, man. I used to go out all day long from the morning to night shoveling. I used to love to do that. I, I like the money, actually. So, but... Now, I wouldn't even want to go out with a snowblower. Well, I was seven. I was eighteen years old before I seen my first snow. Really? <laughs> oh, yeah, I was raised in uh, Miami, Florida. Oh, that'll do it. I came out here, and then I went to service, and that's when I seen it in Texas, Wichita Falls, Texas. Um, my first snow I ever seen. Wow. When did you see your first mountain? Pardon me. When did you see your first mountain? <laughs> when I seen you. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know, that's funny, too, because I have friends in Florida. No, when I first, I, The first time I went down there, I told them they should paint all their overpasses green so it looked like they had some kind of hills there, you know. Gary Harris from the Bushmasters oh, yeah. of Florida yep. came out to my house in California 
and the and he had never seen a mountain like what he's 20 something maybe he was 30 i don't know but he'd never seen a mountain and he was just fascinated with the santa monica mountains and the san gabriels oh yeah, yeah gary's so, a good guy gary was one of the muffs also so that was so. just it was just you know I, I, people in florida never seen mountains that's pretty amazing no <laughs> nope further i ever went until i came out here was um georgia you know and then we drove out here and that's the first mountains i've seen was in uh 15 1959. So it was uh crazy wow so, yeah you know i mean we could sit here and we could talk for a week was, about uh, our memories man <laughs> Unbelievable. So, oh. Kevin, real quick, let me drag Kevin in here. Um, Woods Ball, how's it looking, buddy? It's looking really good, Fred. It's uh, definitely going to happen, and it's going to be a great event. I mean, you guys coming is amazing. When you announced, when I heard about that team, I was blown away. Jerry, by the way, is can't wait to see everybody. Oh, Jerry yeah, I, Braun. I can't wait when to I see Jerry. Him, he was excited. Yeah, I just... Well, you know, I, I hope we've been helping uh, dragging dragging teams in there because it's such a, a great event. I just want it to be spectacular. Just, you know, the first one I ever went to 100 years ago, that was spectacular for me. I could not wait to go do it, and I, I just absolutely loved it. I'm sure the hills are going to be a little different for me this time well, around. but uh, <laughs> I could hardly walk them, let alone play them. Oh. I, I, I know. We were looking for litter bears and stuff, but we haven't found any yet. Uh, they all, they we'll, also we'll were too big and too heavy you. to drag around. <laughs> oh. People still have to come to you if they want to win. That's the that's the nice thing about a two-flag game. <laughs> yes, absolutely right. Yeah, we were hoping the 50-yard line wouldn't be any more than 50 feet from our flag station, but I guess that's not going to happen. <laughs> no, no, that's not going to happen. I'm going to have yeah. some video. You know, we're going up. We're going up for four days to work on the field starting Friday, so... Monday, I should have some nice video for you guys and everybody out there. So, you know, yeah. go to my page of the Master Blasters paintball team page next week, and you'll see some video. We'll do, we'll do field walks of the fields. Last time I did it, if you watch the video, you can hear me huffing and puffing just walking. <laughs> crazy. Well, I know crazy. we're we're excited as hell to go do it. Uh, and, and, you know, you got right here, there's four of us on here right now that are on the team. Bud, Why Bill, not? Dan, and me. I was hoping Ross was going to make it too. That'd really be great. But, oh, know. that would have been terrific. Life yeah, gets but, in the way, right? Yeah. Well, you're, you're gonna you're gonna come to Monte Casino in September, right, Kev? I'm definitely gonna try. I have a tough schedule because in August I'm supposed to wear splashes. I'm supposed to play in UK, and then yeah. sept, uh, October third, I think we're in Croatia. So. Oh playing at Mark Knopf's, you know, one of our events, Marcus Davis and myself and Mark Knopf. Right. And of course, you, Fred, you know, you're involved in this thing. You yeah, know, while we have it. our event in Croatia on uh, October 3rd, so. Yeah, I'm gonna, I, I should make that. it. I should make it. What airport would I fly into, Bill, for that? St. Louis, and it, it is September 11th and 12th. Okay. Yeah, September. You see, if you're asking a New Yorker to fly on September 11th, no. <laughs> I'll fly on September 10th. There you go. Yeah, that would be terrific. And then everybody on the screen would all be there to play in that. Yeah. That would be September amazing. September 11th is my birthday, too. Oh, oh yeah. Wow. Mine's the 24th. <laughs> wow, I won't ask you how old you are because uh, I think uh, you might. I might be your senior. Who? <laughs> oh, yeah. How, hey. how old are you, Ross? Well, I'm 70. senior to all of you. Huh? 70. Oh, shit. Puppy. Oh, I'm 70. Puppy, see, I'll be Puppy. 71. So I am your senior. See? No, wait a minute. I'm 11th. You're the 24th. Yeah, I know it. But you're uh, you're 70 right now, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, then you beat me. Shoot. <laughs> I thought right. you were so going to be 70. Elder. Yeah, I'm I know. Yeah, I, hey, I respect you even if you weren't older. But you know, <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, is I, I thought that you were going to be 70. Oh, well, oh, we're the same age then. Yeah, it was September 24th. Yeah. Oh, pretty cool. We've got well, a lot of time left. Oh, I think so. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. At least hey, my Jerry mind Braun's does. Gonna, Jerry Braun's <laughs> going to be 80. <laughs> Is he really? Yeah. And he's still yeah. going. Yeah, but you know, lawyers don't do anything. 
So, yeah, you know, well, yeah. So, you know, they live a long time. He's still working. He's still working, too, Jerry. He's teaching. He's a math professor. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, he's a great guy. I just... Uh, I, got, I got you all beat. I'm listening. I, I got you all beat by, by a little bit. How much? Uh, I'll be 78 and... Um, October fifth. Wow, so. yeah, you got to speak, but not not by a whole bunch. Not by much. It was no. a good seventy-eight years, though, bud. Right? <laughs> oh hell yeah! <laughs> shit, they're still shit good. I, I want to be you when I grow up. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to be you. <laughs> oh my god! Absolutely. Or I should say, if I grow up. <laughs> no. Oh, you I've will. Never, yeah. I, I, the reason I'm seventy-eight, I never grew up. So, yeah, exactly. Ross knows that. Ross knows That's that. right. That's right. <laughs> hey, you got to love it. You know, wait, wait, no. yeah, the three guys on, on the bottom across my screen, everybody, these guys, Dan Colby, Bud Orr, and Ross Alexander, have done so much for paintball. And, and, you know, if you could go back in the day, that's why I wish the kids nowadays could see what these guys actually did back in the day to help promote the sport. And, and and work hard at making it what it is today because a lot of stuff was built off of what these guys built back in the day. And uh, I can never say enough about the three of you guys. You guys are just absolutely terrific. And, and you know, you've been back there, Kevin. You've been back in the day. You've seen what these guys did for the sport. Not only did I see, I've used every damn thing that every one of these guys ever made. Hey, me too. You know, hey. <laughs> I still got line I SI got you know, quick changes guys. in the basement. You know? <laughs> I, I got a line SI hat down there and shirt that is still brand new. I never wore it because well, I, I had, I had say, a couple of them. So I, I wore one out and then I kept one. Uh -oh, I was going to ask Ross if he had. I was going to ask Ross if he had any old banners I could hang at Jerry's for the Woods Ball World Cup, considering we're you know, turning the clock back to 1990. I got <laughs> some. I got some boxes, and my wife's been cleaning out uh, um, the basement a little bit down here. I mean, I, 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 I've got a picture of uh, Bud and I. I think for it was in Paintball Magazine or APG. There you go. There it is. Oh, look at man. that. Now that I don't have, bud. I have that, that hat too. Have. The Linus I Masters. Huh? This is only. Good. I have that hat still. I have the yeah. T-shirt too. Yeah, I, I, I have a T-shirt somewhere. I, it's I, probably I, got holes in it. And the program, I, I think, I still have from that. You know the. Uh, <laughs> yeah, the Linus I Masters. That was pretty good. Yep. Those, those were good. Yep. I, I I catch up with Jim Lively once in a while. I went on my uh, I went on a road trip in my Volkswagen bus a couple of years ago. Swung by his house. He was south of Nashville in the day. Um, I think now he's living in Portland, Oregon. He's up in Oregon, yeah, because he moved up there with his uh, kids to be by his grandkids and stuff. I just right. talked to him a couple of weeks ago. When he's not growing there. coffee in Costa Rica. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, I had somebody he gave me some of his coffee. It was really, really good. Right, really yeah. good coffee. <laughs> he he told me that uh, that was like an expensive hobby for him. So... Well, I'm sure it was expensive coffee. Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> <laughs> no expensive hobby. He said yeah. that his coffee plantation is an expensive hobby. So I don't know, but you know, it, it makes him happy. It makes him happy. Real simple. I figured I got a thousand dollar bag of coffee. You know? yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you got to love it. So, hey, John, what do you think of this group? Pretty interesting. No, it's it's a good group of guys. Bud, haven't seen Bud. What was that since the last, uh, since he won Monte Casino last time? Bill? Yeah. Probably the same thing. Kevin? ICPL? Ross? Haven't. Don't recall, but it's a pleasure to see you. If I saw you before, but yeah, no, it's always a pleasure to be up here with everybody. You know. Yeah, yeah. These guys got some stories. I got to tell you, it's uh, you know, and then and, you know, someday you'll be seventy-two and you'll have a gazillion stories to tell. But you know, what what I think is so special about these guys and the stories we got is, you know, we actually came in when paintball was just a baby, 
So that's what was pretty cool about some of these stories. And, you know, a lot of the stories, you know, just <laughs> like with Bud and stuff, we can't tell these stories, man. You know, I mean, we lived them, we enjoyed them, but now we got to bury them in our mind. <laughs> well, I don't know. I think they get better every yeah. year. Hey, Tim Schloss will tell you that, boy. I got to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> it's not Bud that needs to be buried. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we... We did some some fun things back in the day. That's for damn sure. Matter of fact, you know, he, just like Tim Schloss says, he says he didn't believe half the stuff he's seen us do, let alone heard about it. So. Right. <laughs> wow. We got somebody down in the wings. I think it might be. Uh, let me see here real quick. I don't know if I can even bring him up. Might be Andy Sturette. Yeah, he was trying to get on, I think, is what it said earlier. Yeah. Oh, you know what? Let me see here. There we go. Andy, <laughs> what's going what's on? What's happening? Hey, Andy, my man, the team. Yeah. Uh, ready to play? <laughs> Ross, you know Andy Sturette? Yes, I know Ross. Yeah. Well, it's been a while. It's been a long time. Your ass is hiding over in Boulder. A hundred years, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, hey, did you see me in my intro? I got that picture of you and I standing there. Did you see that, uh, Andy? Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 How old were you then? I don't know, 20 something. No, <laughs> hell. <laughs> you might have been pushing 16. I don't know. Yeah, no, it's at least 20 something. Uh, yeah, sure. You still got that baby face, so, man. You know, what's going oh, on no, with that? I don't. I got the uh, double chins going on and everything. Oh. <laughs> Right on. Yeah, this is a, a heck of a group. Andy's also going to play on the, the band when we go go there uh, next month. So that's going to be a hell of a group. He's gonna, Get on a treadmill. He's gonna, All I got to tell you, your ass is on the treadmill. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we've already figured out that me and Caesar and little Alvarez will, will be up at the, like, the 40. I've already determined I'm bringing my 98 CI Immortal Air Tank. Um, because I'm going to have to uh, carry about 16 pods just so I can shoot to keep the other team from getting on our side while the rest of them catch up. Because you got potty breaks, so you better put, you know, uh, porta potties in between the bunkers. We've already determined that Fred's carrying snack pods with Twinkies in them. I, I don't he, do that anymore because it clogged up my hopper last time. I, I reached for a pot. Yeah. You know, because I got I got five pods. I got three with paint and two with Twinkies. I just grabbed right? the wrong pod. Yeah. <laughs> but, and I, I'm I'm changing that up now. <laughs> Andy, we're sponsored by Depends for a reason. Well, you know, guys, we're playing woods ball. Just bring a five gallon spackle bucket and a toilet seat. You're fine. <laughs> That's true, too. Yeah, you know, woods ball, man. We you don't have to worry about it. You can shit anywhere you want. <laughs> But uh, Ponderosa is going to be tough on you guys. The other two fields, I think you'll be fine. Yeah, the Ponderosa, that's a big, long one, isn't it, with the gully? Yeah, it's the one where you got to run down the hill, then up the hill. And if you pull yeah. the flag, you got to run down the hill and back up the hill. Yeah, we played the All-Americans twice on that that field. That's a heck of a field, boy, I got to tell you. You know, even when you're young, you get over to the other side and you finally pull the flag. You just you wonder if it's well, worth it for the extra points to take it back. <laughs> it's not going to be a that, problem. That field, has been, that field has been the gauge of my aging. You know? Yeah. That, I mean, that, back in the day, I could run that field all day. Now I barely walk it. <laughs> yeah, it's a heck of a field. For everybody that hasn't seen it, it's just like this. Literally. Here's a flag station and here's a flag station. And you got to go down and there? up. Is it real stumpy? No. Is there a lot of stumps and shit in the hill on the side of the bank? Could you slide down no. the bank? <laughs> no. You can slide down. It's not really that steep. In some areas, it's a steep bank. But no, it's got no stumps. We've been out there removing everything, right? Every rock, every stick, right, so every you, stump. Cool. So you could it, do a good slide down. You know, you could, fun. you could, oh, but God. oh, Danny, going down's not the problem, but it's when right, you get down there, you got to go easy, up one man. way or the other. Oh hell, man! I volunteer going down. The thing man. is, is that the, ba <laughs> the battle happens. The, 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 the game is played at the bottom of both hills. You know, you can kind of shoot across about about halfway down the hills, 
And yeah. then you got to get down into the gully, and then there's a fortress of bunkers down there. So, you know, it, it, it's going to be tough. I, like I said, I'll, I'll have video for you guys next week. When we, when we played the All-Americans on that, I took it, an, and there, halfway down the hill, there was a log. And I slide down to this log right away, and then the ref comes over and checks me and makes sure I wasn't hit because they were shooting the crap out of me. And I come around the side, and I just had them all dead to the right. I shot about five shots and ran out of air. This is back with CO2. So I just laid there, and I kept yelling up to my guys up there, throw me a little tank, throw me a little tank. And next thing I knew, the game was over. So, but, yeah, that's a hell of a field. I hope we don't have too many games on that one. Well, that's what I'm trying to figure out. You know, we were talking about, see, we're playing, we have three fields built, so we're talking about using two for the prelims. And then a blind field, the third for the semifinals and finals. Oh, there you yeah. go. So you know what I'm trying to, you know, this way you got to walk three fields, but you don't know until we until the captains meeting which three we're going to play. You know, in what order? Got it. I'm probably, you know, I was going to save Ponderosa for last, but I don't know. After eight games playing out there on on that property. Anybody making it to the semifinals is going to regret it. So, I think we'll I think we'll play Ponderosa in the prelims and uh, maybe Challenger in the semifinals. I don't know. We'll figure so, it out. So, so Kev, is it against the rules if I like shove Fred, Bud, and Dan into some tires and roll let them roll down the hill? I don't think I have anything in the rules to stop you from doing that. To be honest, with you. Right yeah, I, I got a hot flash for you, Andy. You don't need the tires. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just trying to figure out how to win here. I'm just like, That's hmm. right. man. Last Look, time I like played, like I said, Andy, Andy, everybody has to come to you in order to win. You know, That's right, so yeah. you don't have to. You, know, you don't have to. You don't have to worry about it. You know, we'll we'll just let them come to us, yeah. Because you know, you trip going yeah. down that hill, baby, you'll starve to death for you stop rolling. That's a <laughs> long way down there. <laughs> well, I cut a lot of it out, Fred. It's not as that's not as far as it used to be up the hill. Oh, it used to yeah, be a long way. I remember side. that. Oh yeah, oh yeah. It was exhausting on the on what we call the near side, but it's yeah, not but you know, it's not like that anymore. It was still a fun field, any way you look at it. It, it was well, still 15, an absolutely we're, we're playing, fun field. You're going to be playing 10-man on a, an OG 15-man field. Yep. Absolutely right. Yeah, because it was all 15-man back then well, when yeah. we first started. Yep. The good news is we've all got 98 cubic inch immortal air tanks and those damn 17 pod pack Zodiac packs. Right and bring them on. They get the job done. You're going to need so, it. The cool thing about this is the people that are on, on this form right here, you know, they're like the pure bloods of paintball. And everybody knows the woods ball characteristics. And the disciplines, it takes to run a woods ball, to play woods ball. You know, the sounds that you hear. You know, I mean, the rain, you know, muffles the sounds. I mean, there's everything, the shadows, everything comes to play. Yep. You know, so it's, it takes a different discipline than, let's say, speed ballers. Although, if you're playing speed ball, it takes another discipline, too, to take – you know, staying uh, under fire and listening to all those balls in those those uh, balloons. Yep. You know, it's an intimidating thing too. You got to keep control, take a breath. Take, so every part of this paintball, which is so cool about paintball, look at all of us. We're going to be competitive. We're going to get up and we're going to get out to Kevin's fucking field and we're going to catch some fucking asses, okay? And that's all of us. That's all of us guys, okay? And, but and you know what we have? We have advantage because. You played in it long enough, you could read the fields. You could use a tree to back out and get cover again. You know how to do that kind of stuff. You know, I mean, there's certain things, you know, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. So I think they get, I think that even though we might have an older crowd of guys, I think we're deadly as, as hell. You know what I mean? I, I, I pity the poor fuckers would go against us. Because I know I would never let nobody down on my team. I would never let you down for any. I know so, that. I know no matter what, if I got to beat him with my leg, I fucking will do something to get you. It don't no matter. You know what I mean? And I know you will do the same. I know, bud, you never let nobody down either. So together as a team, that we're all willing, you know, to, to fight as one. Who's good? Yeah, man. I, I, yeah. Just understand, you got your ass kicked by a bunch of guys, older guys. Older guys. <laughs> older guys. <laughs> Wait, so you know fun. what? Yeah. First of all, you know, like I was saying earlier, Danny, you know, it, to me, it's what's going to be cool is being with all you guys. 
you know, um, that, that first of all is going to be special, but you know, when I started playing paintball for the geez, for a lot of years, when I first started, it was all woods ball. And it's just something about playing the woods ball that to me is special. You know, um, when speedball came out, it was fun, but I just like the stealth part of the, you know, the woods ball and stuff like that. I just, uh, for some reason I, and I like the two flag thing. That was always something special to me too. So no machine guns, no machine guns, right? There you go. Isn't it? This is why we how we came up. I mean, the cartoons yep. how we grew up and, and I, life, I, you know, I, everything. We, we, you know, it's a challenge to take out another guy, huh? What, bud? I say, I promise, no machine guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It's all your fault, bud. Yeah, you know, Kevin wants that in writing from you. <laughs> Better check his check and see what's in his grip. All that. Guy. Yeah. Well, you know, I I got it. I got I got an auto cocker for that uh, for that game. I bought an auto cocker, and Bill uh, just sent it to Caesar to have it Caesarized. And uh, then Bill's going to get it all set up. So I'm looking forward to, to rocking with that bad boy because, you know, Mac Dev doesn't have any um, mechanical marker yeah, just do. yet. Huh? Yeah, we do. Well, that's not what I heard. Yeah. I, he told me that there was no mechanical marker yet that uh, you could use in that. Oh, I'll be playing with mine there. Oh, yeah. What is it then? The, Which one? Uh, XDR. Yeah, that's what I asked about. Oh, that's that Mac Dev mech? Yep, it's the new map. Oh, is it really? That. I'm, glad, well, I'm glad you're bringing that because I'll never Era. see that. Nobody, nobody in this area shoots Mac Dev, you know. Yeah, uh, I got a few people out there that shoot them. You'd be surprised. Yeah, I've never, I've never even seen one. <laughs> You've never seen a Mac Dev? Well, I've seen the electro <laughs> gun. I've never seen any Mac gun of any kind. That's because they're uh, about to be in our hands here, real, real soon. Oh, yeah, so you don't, you don't got one, do you? I mean, they're going to get you one. You don't got one, though, do you? Uh, mine's coming fairly quickly. Uh, yeah, that's what I heard was that they're, co they're coming next month, but they don't know what time next month. So at least for me, anyhow. So yeah. I'm auto cocker. Not all of us have got the MacBev connections there. <laughs> but I don't care. I'm using cocker. Yeah, yeah me too. I, What's wrong with that? Out. Yeah, I just got... What was that one I just bought? Was that a trilogy? No, 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 no. That's 2004. Yeah. <laughs> no, not that one. No, the one I just bought. Yeah, that's a 2004. Is I'll, it? Yeah. But it, a, it looked like it was in excellent condition. Yeah. It. He had, he had mistakenly put trilogy on his on sale description. It was not a trilogy. Oh, really? <laughs> Yeah, that's why I was like, we need that. <laughs> <laughs> right on. Yep. Well, it's going to get Caesarized. Uh, Ross, oh, yeah. C Caesar has this new, uh, it's uh, ultra silk, and he does a boom treatment and stuff on the, mm -hmm. the moving parts, and it just makes them incredibly smooth. Yep. Yep. Yes, it does. Like good. A baby's ass. Yeah, yeah it just, uh, it's, it, what is it? Uh, you got some right there? Andy, I got a whole case of ultra silk and boom sitting right over there on the shelf. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, it's something that's pretty special, actually. So, yeah, I'm talking to Connor yesterday in uh, Australia, and I guess uh, Caesar sent him some, and Caesar put mm -hmm. it on some of his other buddies' markers over there, and I guess they're they're going nuts. They're so happy about it. So, well, I've already told Caesar we're going to have to uh, ultra silk or boom silk all your knees so the other teams don't hear you coming. Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to so make Freddie, some. Freddie, tell me, tell me your roster for this event. Why don't we? Why don't we let everybody out there know who's on your team? Well, I'd have to get it out, but we've got uh, I absolutely Bud, Tim Schloss, Bill Bailey, Dan Colby, um, Caesar Pizzo. Uh, David Bell, uh, who made the view loader. Uh, who else, Billy? I don't have the list in front of me here. Oh, Tim Schloss, right? Yeah, I said Tim, Tim already. Tim. Yeah. All right. Rainy Boucher, I hear. Rainy yeah. Boucher. Hey, real yeah. quick, today is Rainy's birthday, everybody. Yeah, too. I know. I know. Rainy. Happy yeah. birthday, Rainy. Yeah, yeah happy, happy birthday, birthday. Happy birthday. It's been a while. 
Yeah, usually I give my shout out say at the beginning of all my shows, you know, and I mentioned Dan and I, I mentioned Bud and Tom K and Rainy and all of those, but it, it was such a lineup tonight. I just wanted to pull these guys out right away. And I had a chance to get Ross on tonight, um, you know, which, uh, you know, getting him and Bud and, 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 uh, Dan on, you know, that's, that's not an easy thing. So I was happy as hell. And, and you guys mentioned Tim Schloss, didn't you? Yep. Well, Charles, we got Holden. Tim, what's going oh, on, buddy? Paul Dave and Tom Gee. Hey, right. Paul Dave and Tom Gee. Everybody, this is Tim Schloss, uh, Tiger right. Stripe Camouflage I got on the phone here right now. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? They all look fit and ready to go. I'm. Uh, you must have a different was... show on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, twenty years ago. <laughs> no, I'm really fired up, man. Me and Bill are going to have a. We're, we're actually working out tomorrow. We're going to play tomorrow at the field. You know, that's what I heard. He was getting his trailer ready to come down, and you guys were going to go practice. Yeah, yep. yep. I got a bunch of guys coming out to beat us up, so we're all we're all set to go. I got my new Immortal Air tank in. Thank you very much, Danny. It's beautiful. Outstanding, man. Good. Glad you got it, Tim. Cool. He said he's glad you got it. Oh, it's beautiful, man. It's the prettiest tank I've ever got, man. I got it. I got it. I uh, got my autocock ready to go, and I'm going to try it on my old line SI Bushmaster tomorrow, too. Oh, right. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, that just brought a smile to Ross. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Ross is my buddy. Uh, Ross is my buddy. Did, uh, you know, I tell you, if, if you don't mind, one of the greatest moments I've ever had playing paintball was with Ross and Bud at the first Masters of month ever that we played in. And uh, we were on the side of this hill, and Ross goes, hey, stop playing, stop playing. We couldn't figure out what was going on. So we stopped playing, and Ross goes, look at this. Isn't this just a beautiful sight? We're out looking over the lake. And everything's just, and I go, yeah, it's really nice. He goes, yeah, take it in. He goes, all right, commence fire. <laughs> Ah, I love it. Hey, I got. I can't wait to see everybody. I just wish Ross could have come. I understand the situation with the business, but you know. Well, he's so. gonna he's gonna try to make it to Monte Casino in September, so we'll all be together then. If anybody needs, I got a you know I got a big old truck, and I can pick them up at the airport and they can ride up with me. Very cool. Yeah, you know, I got that paper. I got that paper today that that uh, somebody sent to me. The two men and a gun. Oh, yeah, yeah. Did you get the, the patches in there? Oh, I didn't even see the patch. I just got the paper out, and I was trying to read the paper. Well, there's, there's, two, uh, there's two muff patches in there, too. Oh, is there? Excellent. You know, yeah. e everybody that doesn't know what we're talking about here is we played uh, over in Mayhem, and Tim and I were behind this uh, bunker, and we had guys coming in from both sides, and my marker went down. So... Tim, Tim would take a couple shots, and I go, Tim, Tim, they're coming in over here, and he'd hand me the gun, and I'd shoot a couple of guys, and they would drop down, and he'd go, Freddie, I gotta have it back, and I'd hand it back to him, and we went quite a ways with that too, huh? Oh yeah, yeah, we won the we, actually we won that tournament. I got, a, yep. I got the trophy. Yeah, we got that trophy. I think I sent you a picture of you with uh, when they gave you the trophy, but yep. that was a, that was my Bushmaster Point man that we uh, we were playing with. Yep, yep. Yeah, yeah, I still got the gun. It's a great gun. Yeah, that was uh, the. I, I think on think the article it said two men and a gun. <laughs> I don't think we won that. <laughs> it was good, man. It was good. I, I tell you, I am so excited about this tournament coming up. Uh, I think we're going to have a really good time. And what you know, no matter what happens, you know, Sunday night, we all, we we're going to be the big winners at the thing because we get to get together and have a few laughs again. Well, that's that's the winning part for me right there. And Ross said we didn't win that tournament, but I think he's talking about a different tournament. Yeah. Yeah. And that was that main one that they had. That tournament was uh, one of the – remember, they always had all those side tournaments that we played in before the big event where yep. we would ref. Or we'd be, and that was the one that, one of the smaller side events. Yep. I think that one was called the Homebush Open. But, e exactly uh, what it was. It was the Homebush Open. Yep. That's what it said on the paper, too. Yeah. So, uh, so yeah, that was – that's that's all good stuff, but – yeah, I'm I'm pretty uh, pretty fired up about it. I think we're gonna have a good time. Gino's gonna come up and uh, fill pods for us. I think. Yeah, yeah that's he, what he yeah, said. I spoke to him. He's yeah. coming up. Yeah, we'll Gino by lunch. <laughs> 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 well, 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 listen. Hey, I'll let you get back to the show. I just uh, threw those two names out. It's it's really cool seeing everybody. Ross, you look like you haven't aged a bit 
since, uh, yeah. since the last bike ride we went on. I need, I need to get the hair back, though. I'm not used to seeing you. I guess maybe we got, you know, you got some important stuff where you got to look professional, but that's uh, that's really cool seeing no, you. Again. I, was, I was rocking and, uh, that long I'll let hair you guys for go. a long we'll time. Soon. Yeah, he, yeah he, he said he was rocking that long hair for a long time. Oh, hey. he had the best. Yeah, he had it, man. Ross was always the coolest guy in paintball. He knew yeah. what, you know, he knew what to say. He knew what to wear. He knew what to do. I mean, <laughs> I was just really excited when he finally talked to me. Hey, did you see my new <laughs> intro? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was really cool, man. Thanks. You, you and I standing in in London. I think that's where it was. Was it London or Germany? It was one of them damn places, anyhow. I got some pictures I can send for that intro if you want. Oh, no, no, no nudes. <laughs> All right. Hey, I'll talk to you, man. Thanks again. All right, man. Hey, give Terry my love, huh? I'll do it, brother. All right, brother. See you, Tim. All right, everybody, that was Mr. Tim Schloss. I uh, used to have uh, Tiger Stripe camouflage back in the day, which was probably the most popular camouflage there ever was. And now he owns Gateway Paintball, uh, as Tim would say, 10 minutes from the St. Louis airport. So hey, Ross, that was pretty cool. Go ahead, bud. Remember, you remember our trip back from uh, when we were in Texas to the airport? In Texas to the airport? Yeah, when I ran that cop off the road. Right on. Oh, oh my. <laughs> that was a long time ago, bud. Yeah, we had a good time. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't used to driving in Texas. <laughs> oh, that was a great time. I tell that story once in a while, Ross. <laughs> yeah, I, well, I remember yeah, back Ross in the days. Is, so, some of them days Ross I remember. Is take care. <laughs> Ross is going to talk the cop out and give me a ticket. He didn't say a word. <laughs> <laughs> I had to do all the talking. <laughs> I love you, brother. You know that. <laughs> but you didn't have his back. Man. <laughs> oh, oh, no. Yeah, yeah. No, he was good. He was good. So yeah. the cop was a little mad, huh? Oh, yeah. The biggest cop I ever seen in my life is about six, eight. He was huge. I looked up yeah. at him. I had to stick my head out the window. Yeah. And I said, I'm not used to driving in Texas. He said, that's obvious. <laughs> <laughs> so he took my license and told us that we had to be good going the rest of the way. Wow. You know, we were down in Texas. Yeah. I had the team down yeah, there. It was, pretty, it was pretty fun. I had the team down there for a tournament one time, and we were at the motel. And I don't know where these guys went and got the beer, but this was in a dry county. And they're standing outside the room and they're drinking a beer. And all of a sudden, this cop pulls up. And it was, I swear to God, it was just like in a movie. This big old cop gets out and he's got a cigar in his mouth and his sunglasses on. And he goes, who's in charge here? You know, and everybody looks at me, so I couldn't run, you know. <laughs> and, and, and I guess I am. But anyhow, he was going to take all of us in because these guys were drinking beer in a dry county. But I sat and talked to him. He, he made us pour all the beer out and everything like that and let it go. But, boy, they were – these cops down there, they're serious as a heart attack in Texas. When they say don't mess with Texas, they mean every bit of it. Yeah. Got that right. Yeah, well, you got lucky you didn't get thrown in jail that night. You must have been talking <laughs> oh, yeah. some heavy stuff. <laughs> it scared the shit out of me is what you wanted. <laughs> I look at my rearview mirror, and all I could see was dirt and dust. I said, what the hell is that? <laughs> and Ross looked back in and said nothing. And out comes this fire rain and a red light flashing out of the dust. <laughs> And um, they, there's no runway to get on the road. Yep. You know, and I just turned right and took off and ran him off. <laughs> ran him off into the dirt. So it was good. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. Ah, you hey, it's going to give you a warm and fuzzy feeling on the inside, though, doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I hope you not fail, money. Oh, no. I was... <laughs> Oh, man, that, that's why I say life is good. Life is good. Yeah, you can't buy those stories. See, that's the thing. You know, everybody that's on here could sit down and write a book. That's for sure. But, you know, you could only tell half the stuff that really oh, happened. Shit. Yeah. No, yeah. You still believe me. Yes. <laughs> oh, oh man. I got to tell you guys, I, I, I can't even begin to tell you how, how much I appreciate y'all coming on here tonight. This is, uh, 
This has been great. I am definitely looking forward to next month uh, to being with all of you and to seeing Kevin too. You know, I haven't seen Kevin in a hundred years either. So him and Rosie and, and the blasters and I know Kathy Alvarez, she's all pumped up to come out there, man. She's, uh, yeah. she's ready to go. She had an operation yesterday, you know, um, they took her gallbladder out or something like that. So, Oh, wow. Yeah, so she's uh, she's healing today. So, but she's going to be there roughing, and uh, her son Adrian's going to be playing with us. That ought to be pretty yeah. cool. Ah, uh, Bill, Bill's getting out these beef sticks. Okay, real quick story. <laughs> she won. She won the pack of beef sticks, and I was going to send it to her. And I thought, no, hell no, I'm going to go see her. Well, I never got to see her until this last weekend. So I have got that monkey off my back. I gave her the damn beef sticks. And she is happy and ready to go, man. So, uh-oh, who just got it? Kevin just got knocked off. What happened? The bear got him. The bear, the bear got, got him. him, yeah. Yeah, it wasn't me. He'll probably jump back up on here again. So, But anyhow, guys, um, you know, I appreciate so much. Ross, I know you had that birthday tonight. And uh, I just, you know, to uh, have you come on with Dan and Bud. You know, that's something pretty special, not just for me, but for everybody that oh, will for me watch too. this Good video. to see you guys again. Good so, to see you guys. Good to see we'll you. chat offline. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Yeah, everybody stay in touch. You know, that's one thing that I tried to do with this damn show ever since I started it was bring people back together. And, you know, it's been working. I, I've been bringing all kinds of people that haven't talked to each other for 100 years back together. And they're loving it, you know. And if we want paintball to keep growing like I do, you know, that's the, that's the ticket to do it. And hearing from guys like you, Ross, and Bud, and Dan, you know, you guys help build a damn sport. So when you guys come on like this, it's a huge, huge thing for everybody that watches it. You know, and I'm sure our views are going to be way up now when people find out you guys are on. Because I didn't know that, that Ross was going to be on. I kept Bud as a, as a surprise guest. So uh, I think it's going to be a, a very well viewed show coming up. So, but my hour is almost done. I try to keep it at an hour, everybody. So I really appreciate you having us on, Freddie. Oh, yeah, you know, I, I, you know, I'd like to run it longer. The reason I keep it, try to keep it at around an hour, is because people watch it for an hour every time, and uh, never have a problem. And we're getting, you know, somewhere between fifteen hundred and three thousand views a week. So um, we're getting a lot of views right now. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. And we're reaching, you know, like six, 7,000 people a week. So it's, it's working out pretty good. And having you guys on, it just, uh, shit, I don't even have any words for it. Historic. It's just outstanding, you know. Uh, Ross, Ross has a birthday it's party. for being me. on, man. Yeah, Ross has a birthday party for his daughter, Bud and, and Tom. Uh, Bud and John and, and Dan, you know, these guys jumped on. Uh, I just can't. Yeah, I thank you guys an awful lot. And Andy, you too, buddy. You know that. Yeah, no doubt hey, about it. Um, this is definitely the spot to be on Tuesday nights. It really, really is. If you have any heart for paintball and you like paintball a little bit or you're interested, this is absolutely the place to be on Tuesday nights. I mean, well, I the people that you get, the conversations that you get, you get them from the real people. I mean, so it's just, I find it fascinating to listen to, you know, to be here every Tuesday, to listen to all the people that you have on. So absolutely, if you're a baller and you're not here on Tuesdays, you're a poser. Yeah, but we, you know, the thing is, you know, when, when you sit and you watch and, and the people that come on here, you hear the stories you normally wouldn't wouldn't hear. Yeah, I mean, hell, whoever knew that Bud ran a cop off the road? Uh, you know, I never knew that. That's a great story. <laughs> a great story. And he didn't do it on purpose, everybody. It was just uh, something that happened, you know. And But the, it's funny as hell, man, to see a cloud behind you and then all of a sudden the lights come out of it. You know, what? that's kind of, that's like uh, alien kind of stuff there, baby. Like <laughs> <laughs> Christmas yeah, morning. <laughs> so, all right. Well, Andy, I guess you're going to be the first to go. But, Andy, I, you know, sorry. I, I, You know, the way my screen is, I didn't see you. Come on, here. I think Kevin's back again now. Let me see if I can pull him back up here again. Here Kevin we go. You, you know, what happens is once I, once I get uh, six people on, then it drops down below the screen and I can't see it. I've just learned now to 
bring the screen up so I can bring everybody back. <laughs> Sorry so, about that, guys. Technical difficulties. Oh, that's man. Right. We, we thought it was something we said. Whew, that's yeah. cool. All right. <laughs> yeah. You know, Kevin, uh, everybody out there, Woodsball, May 15th and 16th. You know, my World wife's Cup. birthday is the 17th, too. You know that? Oh, boy. Oh, yeah, boy. So we're, so we're flying home on her birthday. But, you know, I, I'm probably, when we go to the dinner, I'm probably going to get her a big cake and have everybody sing happy birthday to her. She doesn't there know that go. yet. So, yeah. <laughs> well, I need to go sing happy birthday, gentlemen. It's a pleasure. Um, I hope to come back sometime if you invite me. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. It's nice meeting and seeing some of you and meeting meeting some of you. And uh, we'll chat offline. Ross, you're yeah. welcome on any time. Any time. We're looking I'll forward to you guys. See. Thank you. Yeah. Take care. Take All care, right, Ross. Bye-bye. Bye. Mr. Ross Alexander, line SI, the Bushmaster. Man, I got to tell you, having him, Dan, and Bud on at the same time, holy crap. That's that awesome. was good <laughs> shit, Freddie. That was, that was a nice surprise. You know, there's two guns that I really liked, and the, the Bushmaster, see, he, put it, he made that into a 62 caliber. Remember that? Yep. Okay. And to me, I used to like the 62 caliber. You, have, you know, crank up the velocity, more balls, 30% more balls, and it actually went through small brush. Yep. Okay, so mm -hmm. to me was a better ball. Okay, and then so I love the '62 Bushmaster, and then, but the, the only gun I got is a fucking autococker. I've never ran anything other than an autococker. I got the I got the axe now that Anu gave me, but he I guess he he looked like I needed a hand there because, you know, you, that's why I got the axe. But I I tell you what, I felt for the I'll. You could outdistance anybody on that field with that cocker, and these kids don't get that yet. You just got to be a little bit swifter. You got to know you're a little bit, and you could outshoot the guys. You yeah, got you, know, you, you one ball the shit out of people, you know, which is like unheard of these days. You want to save? Ball. You want to save some money playing paintball? Shoot an auto cocker. A hundred percent, man. If you ain't shooting the cocker, and that, and that, you know, I guess this shows really how amazing that gun really is. If you think about how old that gun is and how competitive it is today with all the space oh. guns that are available, oh, no. you know, all it takes yep. is a guy with a couple stones to walk out there with a cocker and start blasting people. I mean, it's, we, and then you got all the people trying to collect you on your corner graph. Oh, you must be out there, you know, you're, you're, you're shooting high, you're shooting high. No, I'm not. You know, yeah. so. You no. know what's amazing? You know what's amazing, Dan, is, is look how long ago the cocker was invented by Bud and look how popular it still is today. Oh, and gaining. It's amazing. And gaining. And gaining. That's absolutely yeah, right. Just lucked out. Yeah. I still have one of Bud's commandos, the original commandos that he sold to like Jerry back oh, in. What year was that, it. Bud? 86, 87? Oh, that's 86. Yeah. 86, 87. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it was actually best gun. Best, best gun. And I. I don't know anybody who doesn't use the auto conquer on a competitive mode. I mean, unless you're playing speedball, you know, look yeah. at season, look at, look at aftershock, look at Brannock and shit like that. I mean, you know, everybody pulls out their cocker, you know, yeah, you, yeah, you, right. and you can have your look, battery. The, cock, the cock is an amazing gun, but a lot of these new mechanical guns are pretty nice too. You know, you know, yeah. an auto cocker is a, is a great gun, but it's like a top fuel funny car, you know, <laughs> Really is, yeah. you know, you you get those things working good. There's nothing better. Me, I don't have the time for that anymore. I just want to throw my dirty shit in the bag and take it out and shoot it. You know, <laughs> still got my cockers. Don't get me wrong. You know, still got my auto cockers, but I I, I gotta have an idiot proof gun now. I don't, you know. <laughs> there we go. Hey, everybody. You know, Bill's got hell with him. I don't know if it, does everybody know hell. Yeah. I don't know. Well, Hal's coming know. to the event too, right? Isn't Hal? Oh yeah, absolutely. Hell? Yeah, matter of fact, he's going to drive Bill there. Bill says that he doesn't have to drive because <laughs> Hal's going to do it. Well, that's the story I got. Am I wrong? Yeah, he's a good guy, like that. <laughs> Driving Miss Daisy. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. And I'm going with you guys, aren't I? What's that? I said I'm going with those guys. Yeah. I know you are. Oh, are you? I know you yeah. are. Oh yeah, we're bringing oh, yeah. back. Yeah, see, if I, I was thinking about flying in and driving with you guys, but then it'd be like a clown car, you know? <laughs> so. Hey, John, Johnny, you coming? Uh, I don't know yet. What do you mean you don't know yet? 
He's not. Who's gonna? Who's Johnny? You who's gonna go. what? He's got to take care of the joint. He's got to take care of business. You know. Ah, yeah, that's shit. true too. Bring a laptop. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Bring a goddamn laptop and a cell phone. Do you think you're going to ship anything out on Saturday or Sunday? <laughs> well, I'll tell you, John, you'd be more than welcome. That's for sure, buddy. No, it would be really cool to be out there. You know, it would be really nice. Yeah, you, you wouldn't see us during the game because you'd be up way ahead of us. <laughs> so, you know, you'd be out there, you could be out there promoting product. You know, it's just, it's just the cool factor about this team. And that's, that's what the, that's the whole thing. It, and you know, some to, to say in my, you know, time that I've been in paintball that I can say I walked on the field with Bud Orr and yep. Kevin Donaldson and Fred Schultz and to play paintball and be on the same side. I know what it is to be shot by that guy, but I, <laughs> I like to be on his side. You know what I mean? So oh, I, can't, I can't play this one with you. Remember? Yeah, you no, can't. You can't play this one with us. But you know, Dan, I gotta run this shit show. <laughs> Dan's right. You know, Dan's right. Those saying that you get to step on the field with these guys and actually play on the same team with them is amazing. It really, really is. Look, I, I, the fact that you guys are coming back to this field, you know, it's the oldest yep. field in the world. You know, I mean, yep. that property is the oldest paintball field in the world. Hey, well, you know we were gonna. Well, you could you could do us a you could do a a Jerry Salam for us, can't you? A Salam, can't you do that for us? No, who said that? Never mind. First, struck it off the fucking record. Forget it. No, seriously, you know. I mean, and all of us, you know, have been there, right? It's been yeah. a lot of years. Even Glenn Palmer, want you know, was would have liked to have been to this because he hasn't been to that field since 1988. Yep, that's right. <sighs> Well, I'll tell you, Kevin. You know, I, I, we worked really hard to help promote this thing for you. So we, we just uh, know it's going to be a good deal, and and we know you worked extremely hard putting it together. And uh, we're real proud that we get to come. You know, we really Look, are. Look, I'm, I'm honored to have you guys. You know, you guys have been my friends for a long, long time, and I look forward to seeing you all. Not on this shit, electronic bullshit. You know, face to face, man to man. Yep. Yeah, no, but just a lot of truck. Yeah, we're getting the word out for you though this way. Oh, definitely. It's so, it's so yeah, important I mean, I, if Woods Ball part of our life. Yeah. I mean, part of paintball. You know, there's three defined sections, really. I mean, four. If you look at scenario games, you mad fed, speed ball, and then you have Woods Ball. You know what I mean? And each one of them has the own their own discipline attached to it. Yeah. It but does. To, to eliminate Woods Ball, not to have Woods Ball in a competitive level so people like myself and freddie and bud and and, and and kevin when you're not doing your thing over at the field we can all get up and we could be competitive we can't go do that on a football field or a soccer field we can't do that kind of stuff but we can yeah. up to a tree stand behind that thing and take our 97 auto cocker and smoke some fool riding up with an electronic gun <laughs> you know we could do things like that you know so yeah. Those are things that I I'm real strong about, and I feel real good about you holding this tournament, and why I want to support you a thousand percent, and make sure whatever we could do, give you some strength, whatever we have to do, because I feel real strong that you we really have to keep Woods Ball a mainstay in our in this industry. Oh, I we're mean, going to. Oh, we're going to. That, I mean, to be competitive. I want, I want the older group of guys, the senior group of guys, being as competitive as the seventeen-year-old guys. Yeah, I mean, well, we get to hit classes, and you know, I mean, just because you're an old fucker doesn't mean that you're not busting your balls, jumping that log, rolling on that ground, and trying <laughs> to get that flag like a seventeen-year-old kid. So I think that you know you should have classes, and you should have, uh, you know, in that area, and we should do that thing. And you're doing that, correct, Kevin? Is that are you yes, doing? Yes, I am. Thing? Yes, well, I, I am. I mean, you know, to, co competitive woods ball is a great equalizer. You know, everybody yes. can play. It doesn't matter how yep, young, absolutely. how old, big, fat. You know, you can be crippled and you can play this game. You know, and that's what we want, isn't it? Everybody to be able to play the game. That's what we want. Well, you know, when you first contacted me about the woods ball thing, uh, you know, first of all, I was so pleased that you asked me to be part of it, but. Uh, I was in instantly, you know, and, uh, you know, I would back you for anything anyhow. You know that. 
That's period. So, uh, so I that's why I mention it. it every week, man. So I appreciate it. You know, Freddie, you know, I appreciate everything. You know, you, I appreciate you guys a lot more than I could ever really tell you, you know. Well, right Just back know, at you. Right back know at it you. for a fact, you know, we, we've all known each other a very, 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 very long time, you know. In yep. paintball, it's eternity in paintball time, you know. Yep. It is. But I appreciate everything you got. I mean, the fact that you guys came out for me like this, you know, I guess you just uh, inflated my ego again. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Though. Right on. All right. Well, I'm going to start. I'm going to start with you, uh, Andy. Um, I'll let you say good night to everybody and and our, our crew out there and our viewers. I did have a question there for Kevin because you know sure. I've got, got to take care of the team. So this is a mech event. Um, yeah. So, you know, I got Electro, but batteries are still going to be legal for the hearing aids on the team, right? Oh, absolutely. Okay, absolutely. I just want to check that. <laughs> oh, yeah, but not all of us have those, buddy. Oh, <laughs> what do you I say? Still can have, you still can shoot an Electro <laughs> marker. It's just got to be capped at 5.5 balls per second. So okay. nothing is excluded except the RT trigger on the auto mag, unfortunately. Now, it is 5.5. 5.5, yeah, okay. Bill. Okay, now, if you have uh, the onset of Parkinson's disease, is if you, like, shoot really fast, put your fingers. <laughs> if it's a mech gun, one ball comes out for every pull of the trigger, you're good. I don't give a shit. If you shoot 50 <laughs> balls a minute like that, a second like that, yeah. doesn't matter. You know, I, I can actually shoot that much because I get nervous. I know. <laughs> 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 you All right, Andy. trigger, you get like 20 balls a second. That, that's what I mean, without even trying. <laughs> and that that's, over Toronto, Toronto. Though. <laughs> that's over to Chrono. That's over to Chrono. Right on, Andy. I appreciate so much you coming on tonight, buddy. Well, Take let's, care, uh, Andy. Let's rock this. And uh, when you get done, go check out the uh, jersey design because we want to make sure I just put that in our uh, chat for the team. I'm sure that's good because we need to get those things going. So. Sounds good, buddy. Time's click and play. All right. Yeah. Have a good evening. Just do the same. All right, buddy. See you in five Andy. weeks. We'll see you, man. See you in five weeks. <laughs> yep. That's Mr. Andy Sturette from the Alley Remember Foundation. He is one of the band, the team that we are taking to Kevin Donaldson's Woods Ball World Cup, the 15th and 16th of May in New York. I cannot wait, man. It's been a lot of years since I've been back on that field. I cannot wait. Cool as hell. Pizza. Oh, yeah. Bud, I see you got your buddy there. All right. Yeah. He, he heard uh, Bill. So he, he's <laughs> Bill and Hal. Oh, is it? That's right. Oh, I, yeah, I remember him saying that he that, that dog liked you a lot because you smelled like a pork chop or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, you're right there. <laughs> I love it. All right. Well, Bud, I'll tell you what, buddy. I appreciate so much you coming on tonight to, to well, support Kevin and support myself. It's been a pleasure. And uh, love all you guys. Man. <coughs> love you too, Bud. It's good to see Thank you, man. Thank you, Bud. See you. Thank see you. See you. All right, buddy. <laughs> see you, you in New York, York, Bud. All right. Bye-bye now. You need anything, right. let me know. Oh, I will. I will. All right. All right. Tell Kathy will, we said hi. No, I'm <laughs> get your golf cart. I, hey, I'll get your quad, bud. You can make, use my quad. Make sure okay, it's a two seater. Go. I'm into that one. I'm into that one. <laughs> take All right, care, tell, brother. Tell Kathy we said hi. Take care. All right, thank you. All right, buddy. Bye bye. All right, bye bye now. <laughs> Mr. Budor. Wow, what a group tonight, huh, guys? Holy awesome. crap! Yeah, hey, you know. You just got to love Bud. You know, Bud has been, meant so much to paintball for so long, and he is still such a, I don't know how you even put it, you know, charismatic guy. He just, you know, you just you just hang on every word that he says. It's just, uh, it's just a pleasure to, first of all, say you know him, just like Dan, you know. Dan goes, I'm talking to Dan one day, and I tell Dan, you know, he says, you know, you mention guys like you from back in the day, and people go, oh, crap, you know this guy? And, and it's such a charge to say, yeah, I not only know him, we're friends. So, you know, and to say that about Bud and Dan and, and you, Kev, it's for me, it's just outstanding. And my new friend, Bill, that I've known now for about a year, 
<laughs> I wish I would have uh, known him back in the day. But we would have probably gotten too much shit. But, oh, yeah. you know, yeah. So it probably best it happened this way. <laughs> this way, some of the steam's out of us when we meet. <laughs> oh, I didn't hear you, Bill. You're breaking up. I said we just, it, it's probably a good thing we've slowed down just a bit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I've slowed down. Matter of fact, I've slowed down so much, I'm almost going backwards. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's slow. All right, Kevin. Well, buddy, you want to say goodbye to everybody, and I appreciate very much you jumping on tonight. And, uh, uh, yep. you know, um, you had some yeah, good people yeah. on tonight talking about your tournament coming up. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing you all. I really am. You know, so Woods Bowl World Cup, May 15th, 16th, Newburgh, New York. You know, you can hit me up on Facebook if you're interested in coming. I still got maybe got one spot left, I think. That's going to be it. We're going to cap it, and we're going to run it. So we're a go. Hope to see right. all of New York. Even if you're not playing, stop by and meet these guys you're just watching on this show tonight. You well, you know, come by, say hello. That's funny you mention that, Kevin, because I've had about 10 guys say that they're not going to play, but they are going to make the trip to come up to meet everybody. Look, if, they, if you yeah. don't come to this – you're crazy. If you're in the yeah. area, you're within yeah. driving distance, you've got nothing to do. Just come stop by because yeah. the well, game, you, the play part of this tournament is, is just going to be a part of what's going to be going on here. You know, yeah. to meet you know, all these people and see all these people is a definite opportunity. You may never get again. So. Absolutely. You know, you, you come up to me, but or Dan Colby, Tim Schloss, you know, Gino's going to be there. You know, these are all big time names, uh, you know, and these guys are all, you can walk up to any of them and say, introduce yourself and they'll shake your hand. Well, so, that's you know, what's cool about it. You know, it you is. guys are, we're, you know, everybody, the OGs are really approachable. You know, I mean, we, yep. you know, we're all about the game. You know, we put the game first. So, you yeah, know, absolutely. you players are important to us. I mean, this event we're doing for the players. It's, it's, that's what I'm doing this for. That's what I'm working hard for to try to give everybody a really good time, a good event. You know, that's and what it's about. And that's you know, what you we're going to do too. You guys are out to support this. You know, let's make a party out of it. You oh, know, we're going to do let's that. Have a good time. Yeah, well, you, you know, if we didn't like you, Kev, we wouldn't be supporting you like this. Believe me. I know that. I know Absolutely. that. Absolutely. And that's you know, I mean, it it it's amazing mm -hmm. that you guys came out and did this for me. You know, I don't know if I could ever repay you. You yeah, know, but you, you have with your friendship. We don't ask for nothing. Friends. Just friendship. That's the big deal. Right. All on. right, Kevin. I, I know she didn't have your beer tonight, so you know Bill's not sure about Kevin. that, but he's gonna no, have to I'm, out, I'm out in the backyard, so good night, everybody. All, All right, buddy. Bye bye. There's out there. <laughs> Mr. Kevin Donaldson. Uh it's gonna have the Woods Ball next month. Um we're gonna we're putting a team in called a band, and I absolutely cannot wait. Uh like I say, you know, everybody's always wanted to meet guys like Bud Orn, Dan Colby, and Tim Schloss. You know. Come on out there, guys. Yeah, you get a chance, come out and meet these guys. This is like a, a one-shot deal to get all these guys in the same damn place at one time. You can just walk down the line and shake hands, and then you can got everybody go home and say, Hey, I shook Bud Orr's hand. Hey, I shook Dan Kobe's hand. Hey, I shook Tim Schloss's hand. This is your big opportunity. So, Danny, I gotta tell you, buddy, you know, uh, you know, John, I'm sorry we didn't get a lot to you tonight. Uh Things just kind of mushroomed on me. <laughs> but what a good mushroom, I got to tell you. So, I, and I love the tanks, guys. Appreciate it. Oh, Thank yeah. you, Freddie. Thank None you Freddie. better. None better. You guys uh, hey, got tanks going out because I guess, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Can I say one thing real quick? You can say I two things. So, man. I, got a, I got a little thing in the mail here. Okay, it's Push Chicago. Oh, cool. Okay, so if I can, man, I, I got to be honest with you. I've been using a pair of Empire uh, uh, goggles. No, you at paintball golf. For, for, they got to be from every bit 12 years old. Yeah, And I mean that because they're great goggles. I mean, yeah. what can I say? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, just, I just don't change. Once I put these on, I never knew. I never thought technology would have goggles or anything else. What an amazing set of goggles. Yeah, you push put goggles face, are great. They just hug on to your face. And, man, I tell you, if you ever rode a motorcycle, I ride a motorcycle, I don't wear a helmet, okay? Once in a while in the wintertime when it's really snowy out, I'll put my helmet on, right? And you get cocky as a mother, you know, you get really cocky with a helmet on, right? I yeah. tell you what, I never felt cocky. These, 
you feel comfortable. You feel like a, it's a complete unit. It's amazing. But yeah. but on the other hand, too, being in paintball, doing the, the regs and stuff like that, I'm really into the design factor, too. You know, how yeah. creative somebody is a design. What's really incredible is this hard case. Isn't it? It's amazing. Oh, my God. The engineering, the design that this case yep. has is is amazing. And, it, and it, they complement each other 100%. They do. It's, like, it's amazing. I sat there, and I thought this was the coolest case. And whoever designed it, and, and Brian, not whoever, Brian, Brian is an amazing yep. individual. He's been doing this for a long time, and he's an expert at what he does. Yep. And when this case came out, Badass. I just if, if you're into something that's new, new, newest, new, 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 this is <laughs> fucking cool shit. I got it. Is. It absolutely I, is. And you know the, the, the thing is you gotta you gotta do something for the consumer. And for me personally, you know, you had your goggle bags, so you throw it in a bag, you tie it, pain in the ass. It's just a stupid bag. But when yep. you open this up, this comes on down. It's so easy just to dump them right in. You're good to go. That's it. Bam. Yep. Yep. I mean, the design factor, then you got yourself a, a curious head. So, all in I'll, all, tell you, I'll tell you what else is cool is first of all, I got the shirt and I got these cool ass stickers. Hey, those I like. Yeah. Oh, yeah, those I like too. I love them actually. So, Dan, pretty John, pretty I appreciate you guys coming on tonight so much. I, really I like that. Oh, nice one, Bill. That's good, Bill. Freddie, thank you very much, man. Yeah, appreciate Thanks. it. Appreciate you being here. Yeah, it's, uh, and everybody remember, mortal air. You know, if you want to go, you want to go high pressure air system. You won't get a better reg in the business. Period. And it, it's not just now; it's been that way for thirty years. Uh, you want to go immortal air. Believe me, you see the tanks that are sitting. Actually, the tanks sitting in front of me. The tank that Bill just had. The tanks in front of Dan and John. They're the best. Best regs in the market. You get a chance, you want to try them out. As a matter of fact, Chica Strada texted me just before the show and said that he just ordered from one from you guys, but he was going to hope that he could try to get in gold or something like that, gold color. So anyhow. Uh, he sent his order out tonight, so he should be having that thing on Friday. Oh, and, cool. Uh, this reg can't go gold, but message him, told him the next run, the new reg, you can yep. go gold. Oh, so, cool! Yeah, that. Yeah, he uh, he texted me just before the show. He was so happy. He goes, he goes, yeah, I ordered the reg, Fred. I can't wait to get it. So, anyhow, right on, guys. Uh, you know, uh, thanks, Freddie. Appreciate it. Thank you very much. Guys, stay safe. Well, good to see you guys, man. Be well. Stay safe. All right. Take care, everybody. Thanks, man. Take care, Mr. Dan and Mr. John Colby. Bill, what the hell can you say about the group tonight? But or Dan and John Colby, Ross Alexander, Andy. We've, we've walked we've walked amongst giants. I, I gotta tell you. That's about all you can say. <laughs> really. Just, just amazing. Amazing. So what a great night. Well, hang on in the green room, Billy. Yep. And uh, I'll pull you up in a few here. Yep, yep. All right. All right. All right, everybody. Um, you know, we ran a little long tonight, you know, but uh the paintball people and, and the history behind these these guys are, are, are just incredible. I I can't even tell you how blessed I feel to have these guys on my show tonight. They are by far the best of the best. Um, not not I mean they're good for paintball. They're great for paintball. But as far as human beings, they are nothing short of the best. Period. So we ran a little long, so I'm going to cut it off here real quick. Um, but I want to thank everybody for watching us tonight. Uh, I appreciate it so much. I, I appreciate everybody working hard to promote paintball because I absolutely love the sport. I love the people in it. Uh, again, I want to definitely thank Mr. Budor. I definitely want to thank Mr. Ross Alexander. I definitely want to thank Dan and John Colby, Bill Bailey, and Andy Sturett from the Ellie Foundation, Ellie Remember Foundation. So. All right, guys, till next week, 7 o'clock, Tuesday, Pacific time. Please play hard, play safe, play fair. But, man, get out there and play some paintball. All right? See you next week, everybody.